This is Sarah, and I've been back from Tokyo now for about two weeks. At the beginning of this particular week, on Monday, Ars Electronica announced the winners of their pre. Uh, every year they hold a big juried show, and all of the media artists around the world submit their work, and based on the submissions, they decide on their theme for their festival at the end of the summer. They also award golden naikas, which are these statuettes, to the winners in one of four or five categories. And this year I got an honorary mention in my category, interactive art, which is huge for me. When I applied for the pre this year, I did so with not just Noodle Feet as an entity, I applied with the entire umbrella concept that sort of embodies my relationship to him. And I called it Mother of Machine, because one of the most important aspects of me creating Noodle is the fact that he is like my child, and there's this element of empathy between me and the thing that I'm creating. So I, I got this honorary mention. This is basically, if I were to compare it to the Academy Awards, it's like being nominated for an Oscar. Since I was in college, I've had a lot of respect for Ars Electronica because they don't just bring a lot of cool stuff together, they get people together to talk about ideas. So there's this strong philosophical component behind their symposium that they orchestrate, and I think that's really important. I see that everyone who attends the festival takes some bit of the dialogue home with them to influence their life or their work, or at least that's how it's been for me. And to be honored in this way by them is just huge. What this means, though, is that there's a chance that I'll be exhibiting my work at the festival at the end of the summer, which means I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't really create anything with the intent of it being consumed in a gallery setting, so it's difficult work to kind of show to humans. Right now, Mark and I are trying to train a machine learning platform to uh, recognize my face, like my likeness. I proposed displaying a screen behind him that is going to show what he is seeing. So as he looks out into the gallery space, he's going to be recognizing the faces of the people looking at him, and then he's going to draw a box around their head and put a percentage value as it relates to whether or not they look like his mom, which is me. Which, uh, now that I say it, is kind of dark and, and fucked up. Wow. I think that's actually good, because if the goal at the end of the day is for people to reframe the way that they view technology, then being able to empathize with a lost little child robot in an art gallery is a good way to do that. So in addition to my face, um, I want Noodle to be able to recognize the faces of his daddies as well. Mark and Tony, who are the uh, brain and shape daddies of uh, Noodle Feet, and then two of his favorite stuffed animals. That's these guys. They go with him pretty much everywhere that he's been. Anytime I pack him up in my luggage, you can be sure that these guys are smashed, like, up against his disassembled pieces. And people will be able to pick them up and show them to Noodle, and he'll see them and draw a box around their, their body, and it will say, Fisty, 100%. Seeing something that he recognizes will affect his temperament and his behavior as a robot. So some of the other things that are on my to-do list for the summer include Replacing all of Noodle's old, original baby parts with new ones. This includes his pelvis, which is the box that all of his legs mount into, and his skull, which is the tray that his little, like, eye gantry kind of sits on top of. I want to redesign his skull so that all of the different brains inside of his head, like his raspberry pie lobe and his juice lobe and his little stat hat, um, all of those can slide in and out without me having to unscrew everything and pretty much take the entire outfit apart. I also want to make his eyes capable of scanning 360 degrees around him, because right now I think he can look at like 60 degree angle, and he has a dedicated front. Um, the goal is that front is relative to whatever way he happens to be facing. This particular meditation on Noodle Feet's growth is very important to me because this is the first time that he's going to be making his own informed decisions. It's a form of puberty. There'll probably be more puberty phases for him as the years go on. So anyhow, um, yeah, I invite you to follow along in the puberty adventure of Noodle and Mommy and family. Uh, 
I'll be posting updates as frequently as I possibly can muster. <laughs> All right. Um, as always, thank you for watching and keep making awesome things out there. And I don't know, I'll see you around. If you, if you squeeze him right here, he makes... I'm done.